classic or no bake i'll let you decide ready let the first one is my classic pumpkin pie recipe that is based on the recipe that was on the back of the libby's pumpkin can it's been there for many many years and it's really popular uh, so uh, it has uh, pumpkin puree a couple of eggs uh, milk a little bit of flour and uh, pumpkin pie spice uh, and cinnamon and and you can adjust the spices however you wish to do so but this time we've used a frozen pie crust and let me tell you why frozen pie crusts have come a long way over the last i would say four or five years and they're really quite amazing i would look for even the no-name brands in your local grocery store they save so much time. I'm all for perfect flaky pie crust from scratch, but when you're cooking a really big dinner, all those extra minutes add up. So I hope you stick with the recipe or, so I hope you watch the recipe through and you'll see just how quickly this classic pumpkin pie comes together. In a large bowl, mix pumpkin, milk, sugar, ginger, cinnamon, and flour, eggs, and mix it all together. Use a hand mixer and mix it really well. Pour into pie shells, fill them about three quarters full, and bake. Bake in the bottom third of your oven. When the pie is ready, put it in, leave it in the oven and turn it off. Doesn't that pie look amazing? Serve a generous slice and top it with some whipped cream. Maybe sprinkle a little more cinnamon on it and enjoy. And now the taste test. Hmm. So good. And of course, we have to have a little bit of whipped cream. Really good. Now for the no bake pumpkin pie, you use pumpkin puree vanilla pudding mix, Cool Whip, and a ready-made graham cracker crust. But if you wanted to, you could make your own graham cracker crust. Before I start baking, I like to get everything out and measured so it's all around me. Makes it easier to put things together and then you're not running around the kitchen trying to find something that you might have missed in the recipe. And I'm kind of old school. <laughs> So I usually print out my recipe. Um, for those of you that can follow on your phones, that's awesome. Uh, we actually have a, a toggle switch on the blog for the recipe that you can, so that your phone doesn't go to sleep and you can follow the recipe. But for those of us, uh, hence the glasses, um, I usually print out the recipe. So the first thing we're going to do for the no bake pumpkin pie is we're going to bake the pie uh, graham. We're going to bake the graham cracker pie crust. So that just goes in the oven at 350, a preheated oven, and you bake it for seven minutes, six or seven minutes, and then we'll just put that aside while we mix up the filling. And I like to use the large bowl, usually a, a large uh, Pyrex bowl. I always have uh, lots of uh, these bowls on hand. They're perfect for cleanup and uh, they're just great to use. So we start off and we combine the pumpkin puree. So it's 15 ounces. And I'll link the recipe in the description for you so that you can get to it easily. The pudding mix, instant vanilla pudding mix. So that goes in, some cinnamon, some pumpkin pie spice, 
Now, I just had this pumpkin pie spice on hand, but you know you can make your own, right? It's cinnamon, ginger, and uh, cloves. Um, and, and the nice thing about making it yourself is that you can adjust how strong you want the cinnamon or the cloves. So I'm going to blend that using my rubber spatula. And we want to make sure that it's all blended. And that's to fold in the Cool Whip. So this is like from an eight ounce container. So just very gently fold it in. Once it's all mixed, you'll notice that the pumpkin pie filling is a little lighter than you're used to on a classic pumpkin pie, but it still tastes amazing. Okay, so I think that's getting there. I don't want to over mix it. Just place all the filling in the middle of the pie shell and then you can use the spatula to move it around. I love that there's so much filling. You'll see when it's after it's chilled and we cut a slice, it's a really lovely tall piece of pumpkin pie. It's going to go into the refrigerator for at least four hours. Now for the taste test. Looks pretty good to me. And I love how high the filling is. A little top of whipped cream and, of, and the graham cracker crust is really nice, nice and crisp. And this has been in the refrigerator actually overnight. But the recipe says to chill for four hours. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Really good. I say that a lot, don't I? And you know, it's so much lighter than a classic pumpkin pie. So there you have it. On one hand, you can have a classic recipe that's been baked in homes for generations, or you have this new version, a no-bake pumpkin pie that you can make in 15 minutes. I'll let you decide.